All right, I think we are live. This is Shanna Berry Blast with some Hammer and Harry. I got the uh, king of Pizza Pop, the Sultan of Smug, Apollo on commentary. Take it away, Apollo. That is me. Hello, everyone. Hello, Retrothon. This is, I think, I think we can all agree that this is the main event that we've all been waiting for. <laughs> this, everything else has just been the appetizer. This is, this is the full five course meal. But uh, I guess before we start talking about Hammer and Harry, um, I guess let's do let's do a countdown. I'll do a countdown for you, and Perfect. then uh, we'll get going. So on go, three, two, one, and go. Awesome, we're off. Okay, so with Hammer and Harry, the little, little backstory about this game is uh, you are Harry, a, a hammer wielding ninja who is going up against a terrible, evil construction company the rusty nails corporation um and they're actually been terrorizing the town terrorizing your family stealing stealing your family kidnapping Stole your honey. everything everything so you're trying to go through uh we got some quick little stages so stage one you have the you know the electric uh electricians here you're going by and then we're getting to the first boss super quick um there's a cool little kill that Shannon's going to try here where you can actually hit the boss on the way up and then you can slam the hammer on the way down um, while he throws pancakes. So you gotta <laughs> avoid the pancakes and be careful, be, be wary of the pancakes. I mean, who doesn't? It's probably a morning job right now. So, and, and there goes there goes the boss. And uh, so in between each stage, uh, there's like a 30 second cutscene, just like a, a bonus game, I mean. And uh, so, if, you know, I don't know if you have any shout outs, Shanna. Do, what, what made you what made you start playing Hammer and Harry? You did. No, actually. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> now, the first thing that uh, brought my attention to Hammer and Harry was the Big 20, but Big 20 number eight. I didn't partake in the event, but I did play all the games. And this one I fell in love with, chose it for an event, Drunk Games. And uh, Apollo was the one that told me to submit my terrible, terrible run. And all it did was motivate me to keep running it. And, uh, and here we are. Uh, it's absolutely just such a charming game. You can't really put it down. True. No, this this is this is a fun game. I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a Famicom. Well, there's there's a PAL version of this. I don't think it came out actually in the U.S. But there is some differences. But the Famicom version just runs uh, cleaner. Um, but we have here stage two. Uh, there's going to be a climb, and I, I I personally love climbing stages because when when done well, they just look. They just look so good, so clean. There's some spiked elevators Ooh. that Shannon's gonna get by, which is, it's scary. And then you got welders throwing fire out. So I, this is, they're really coming after Harry. Um, some spike balls that are gonna jump over. And then there's a mini boss coming up that uh, if you notice that Shanna picked up a giant hammer, it does double damage and also has a very large Ooh. hitbox. So hopefully this makes the mini boss a little bit easier. See him running around a little bit. Yeah. And then once the mini boss is down, going and get the big boy the big car easy kills shanna too good <laughs> i and learned we have another the best. we have another oh who is that that would be you man oh i forgot of course yeah and then uh we have another bonus game coming up so what what about you should tell us about your hard mode runs okay so yes uh this is any percent it's technically one loop of the game um, and, you know, if you continue on after the credits, it does restart from the very beginning with uh, mostly double damage. All of your obstacles will run twice as fast. Um, and, and you'll also have a few other obstacles that you don't expect and RNG will just whoop you. Um, so that's what we call hard mode. Two loops, second loop. Um, and yeah, just uh, took me about a year and a half, but I did finally get the world record back in hard mode. Um, not an easy battle. <laughs> like it any definitely movie. is not easy. I probably, I, I don't know if I'd be able to beat the first stage, so. Ah, smug Apollo could do it. I don't, I'm just, just saying it's hard between Hurricane Mixer and Shanna. Crazy hard run. But we got, got the third stage here. Um, it's, you're on the, on the nice uh, dock. And then we're going to take a nice little boat ride. And if, um. At the end of this boat ride, well, actually, the boat ride's a little dangerous, so Shanna's going to try and find a little bit of a, a safe spot where she's not going to get hit. There's going to be guys flying by. There's going to be birds. There's going to be fish jumping at her. Um, if you get hit here, you might fall into the water, and you kind of got to start over this boat ride auto-scroller. Um, after that, <laughs> listen to the nice cello music. It's beautiful. We won't be able to hear it again. Um, and then after, after the cello 
the cello man is gone, we have yet another boss. The Street Fighter boss is coming up. That boss can be tricky too, as far as your landing on the hood can dictate how far he goes left, which can then just catapult you straight into uh, the hood of the car. And you're gonna take a couple of hits, have to do some serious damage control, jump all over the place, throwing bombs at you, shooting at you, and they're trying to hit you with their car. So <laughs> that one, as long as you get the right placement on the hood of the car, easy peasy. True, yeah, that could it could definitely go wrong very quickly. And then if you can tell, Shanna isn't really doing much during these bonus stages. You can actually, there's always a way to get points, but the more points you get, um, you actually get like items to drop for you and that's gonna take time. So there's a reason why we're staying at zero points right now. So it just kind of makes the bonus stage go a little bit quicker. Yeah, if you are a wife beater, you can enjoy beating up your honey during these mid stages. Yeah, a little bonus stage. It does negate the point if you do accidentally uh, hit a box and get uh, get a point because we don't want that we definitely don't want that all right <laughs> so now we're gonna have no more bonus stages we got stages four and five are a bit tougher here uh the first stage four you're going through the sewer and again we're going to be hitting at the edge of each screen there's going to be an elevator going up higher and higher until we get a, a revelation at the top who could that be we don't know but first we go up the first elevator then after taking out the secretary, Shannon's going to try and stay to the left of the screen, maybe, the hope that the hammers, the uh, the wrecking balls don't drop on her head, because that would be that would be not good. It looks like everything went well. Up the elevator again, and before we get up the final elevator, there's a bunch of enemies that are going to come running at Shanna, and the only way to get by them is using that giant hammer. You just swing at the ground, they automatically are destroyed. They just fall off, fall off the building, and then the elevator will open and uh, reveal the final boss coming into the uh, the last little wall here. Final boss of the stage, yeah. Yeah, of the stage. Now, this woman Not can be tricky, but um, if you if you decide you want to run this game, which I highly recommend, just go watch uh, go watch Apollo's run. You got to figure it out, man. Oh, uh, I mean, I would say I would guess I would uh, shout. I, I would say though. maybe even. No, it's okay. It's a tough. This is a tough. This is tough. Could have got her in three um, hits, but I missed the first one, so. I would say right before we get to that, I want to say you got Spiriel in third, Pip Johnson second, Death Devil in first. They they really took the time down in this game a lot. Yep. And then we have stage five is really tough. It's uh, you know, anyone that runs this game knows the water, the little waterfall section is is not not fun. It can get inputs in, so we're gonna kind of give Shanna a chance to concentrate here and see if she can get through it. Yeah, I've uh, definitely taken a lot of strats from everybody for um for my any percent run and my hard mode run. It was definitely a collective effort from the entire community that uh, is the only reason I'm able to run this. <laughs> yeah, so the reason why a lot of people do not like this water section is is your inputs kind of get eaten. So you could you could either get hit by Scuba Steve or you could just fall into the water and that you're, you're back. You just keep having to do it over and over until you make it through. But uh, everything, everything looks clean, clean so far. Look at that. Immediately destroys the final boss in two hits. Shanna's just too strong. <laughs> no one else can top this kind of run. It helps having some smug Apollo in your ear, man. Oh, I couldn't even finish my sentence, and you're already destroying Charles Xavier, Professor X, the leader <laughs> of Rusty Nails Corporation, terrorizing your family. All over. Yep. And I do get my honey back at the end of this stage. Uh, I, I would love to say it. Yeah, a definite shout out to the entire community. Um, you guys have been phenomenal. Um, a lot of my, my viewers have picked this game up as well, and I highly recommend everyone pick it up. Uh, it's it's such a great speed run. Um, and yeah, zap that scoob at the end if you want to avoid any of the problems with your lag on the waterfalls. Just zap them with your select button. As long as you pick up that zapper, you'll be good to go. Apollo. That was, uh, that was, look at that, 740, that's, that's a run right there. That's a run. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. My PB is 726, so I, I'm very, very happy with that time. And swearless, too. Fantastic. True, true. This was maybe tougher than the game itself was Shanna doing a swearless run of Hammer and Harry. So Could everyone, another, a second GG from everyone for that <laughs> swearless percent. Man, thank you so much, Retro Gaming. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you for having me. Uh, and everyone, please, please, please stick around for the beautiful, beautiful Apollo runs. He's got three runs coming up. The That's king, me. The king of Pizza Pop himself is about to throw down. Look, reunited with my honey. 
but yeah, GG, thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, keep Retrothon on forever, all week. Just even when it's over, just restart the VODs and then just, just never turn it off. Heck yeah. Thanks, guys.